time. Good afternoon, judges. My name is Wen Bo. I'm so glad we're in the USA to brew coffee for you. As we know, the United States is one of the largest coffee-consuming countries in the world. But however, not many customers really know specialty coffee. So as a barista, I truly valued every single opportunity where I can brew coffee in front of them and help them to better understand specialty coffee by introducing the coffee beans, brewing method, and the sensory experience to build a great friendship with them. So now, judges, I invite you guys as my regular customers to experience our daily routine. Sounds good? Great. Dear customers, there are information card is right in front of you. Please take a look with the reference. And the coffee we are serving today is a geisha variety. You are expecting the floral aroma and the stone fruits with the berries flavor in the cup. With the anaerobic natural process, this coffee will make more complex acidity and a nice mouth feel. Also, this coffee is from the 2100 meters above sea level at the Elida Estate in Bugatti, Panama. So as this extremely high elevation, we are leading longer growing cycles to accumulate more sugar compounds. So coffee, super sweet. Also, here it's important to know, it's, it's because it's all because of farm the great management and it's dedicated to the coffee production. So that's why we have this beautiful coffee here. And this coffee, we roast like the three days ago with the Ikawa. Total roasting time, seven minutes. But still, light roast coffee. And then we developed a brewing method for this excellent coffee. It's based on the two fundamental steps in extraction, dissolution and diffusion. So first, when we pour water into the coffee grounds, the soluble solids were dissolved into the liquid. So we decide to add the magnesium and the calcium to the water in one-to-one -one ratio to enhance the diffusion dissolution process throughout brewing. So coffee tastes more flavorful. Next. After the first pour, please imagine when we pour new water into it, it will mix with the coffee liquid in the dripper that has already been dissolved to create the concentration gradients. So soluble substance must diffuse into the newly poured water to form that coffee ground. So this is where the concentration gradients come into play in the diffusion. Also because we are choosing to use coarse coffee ground size. So you will see, we'll have a four brewing stage later. Each pour, I will pour 60 gram water in every 30 seconds to continually create out concentration gradients to increase extraction. Also, upon the experiments we found, use this stripper to enhance that diffusion process, make this coffee taste more sweet and a lively acidity. Because you can see, this is a flat bottom shape. This can provide more even extraction. 31 horse down here. So coffee will drain fast and evenly before the next pour. Also, there is another good feature of this draper. It's it made of the aluminum. It requires less heat to heating up. So the brewing temperature will raise up quickly. So all these features, both will relate our brewing temper brewing later. Also, we found a great ratio for this coarsest coffee grounds, which is uh, 16 gram coffee, 240 gram water. So this ratio can get more better balance and sturdy months still. The total time. It's two minutes, two seconds. So now I'm using the 50 ppm water at uh, 93 degrees. So the brewing temperature will raise up to the 88 degrees in five seconds. For first the three stages, they all same water. So it's a higher temperature with the appropriate mineral to get a better dissolve the soluble solids. The coffee will more fruity. At the one minute 30 seconds, most of the extraction we feel is completed. So we will switch water to the 300 ppm water, but still 93 degrees. So with the harder water, the coffee will make more balanced 
and the wrong day of the month fulfilled. So dear customers, if you have any questions about the Bree method, please let me know later. I would like to talk more about it. But now, let's move on to the aroma of this coffee. So when you smell the aroma, please bring the servo close to you and take your time to smell it. You will find the, the floral, like you are surrounded with uh, rose. You also can find uh, the freshly cut fruit, like a strawberry and apricot. Then, with the swinging aroma, I would like to say it's the nectar. They all in the medium intensity. So, dear customers, when you finish up the aroma, please bring, leave the server over there. I will serve the coffee cups for you, okay? All right, coffee just ready. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Please enjoy, it's hot. And I will come back. coffee great so I will break down the sensory experience by temperature so you will know what you're looking for when you're drinking the coffee so when coffee is hot you can directly find the strawberry apricot with the brown sugar the all medium intensity with the light cocoa little bit when temperature cools down, like warm and cold, you can find the, the flavor changes, like apricot, brown sugar, with some berries flavor. I would like to say blueberry. They all in the medium intensity. And the aftertaste. So with the hot, you can last in the apricot and the cocoa. So when it cools down, like cold and warm, the aftertaste is the apricot, blueberry, with the lingering with the molasses finish. And then, it's my favorite part, is the acidity and the sweetness. This coffee, when it's hot, have a beautiful acidity, like strawberry and apricot, in medium high intensity with the medium sweetness, like brown sugar, can make this acidity more bright and lively. When coffee is cooled down, like warm and cold, the acidity is like uh, apricot and blueberry in medium intensity, with the medium molasses sweet, can make this acidity more soft. The mouthfeel, it is a uh, wrong and the syrupy from the first step in medium weight, and then follow the, the and then the smooth and round finish. The the acidity will in, in highlight the entire cup, just like a fresh cup of juice. So now it's perfect time for tem and the temperature for this coffee. So please drink coffee directly from this coffee cup. I choose this because this one can enhance the tasting experience. Like, I would like to say, more rounded. All right, it's time. Please enjoy it. Hope you like it. Thank you. Please enjoy it. Thank you for waiting. All right, dear customers, have this amazing coffee. I believe you are live with a specialty coffee. And I wish I can see you next time. All right, dear judges, that's all my daily routine. It's about love and passion about special coffee. Time. 
And thank you, Winbo. Thank you very much.